In 2005, this movie was released. Dead Waves, directed by Yoshiro Hayama. As far as I know, this was Hayama's directing debut, and it seems like most of the cast and crew were quite new to the field when making this. And it shows. If you don't believe me, the rating speaks for themselves. Soko Wada stars as TV producer Hiroshi. He has a popular TV show where he and his crew visit people that are claimed to be possessed and perform exorcisms on them. The latest guest is a high school girl named Runa. Her brother believes she's gotten possessed and is in desperate need for their help. He could need some help too, as it seems. There are many strange things about this case. Both Runa's boyfriend and mother have mysteriously disappeared. And then there is her brother, of course. <laughs> Meanwhile, a psychiatrist reveals some disturbing statistics to Hiroshi. Suicide rates among teens seems to increase drastically right after his show as on television. It is as if it emits dead waves. Hiroshi starts to wonder if this could be linked to the mysterious suicide of his girlfriend. And that's the plot of Dead Waves. In case you haven't noticed it, this movie is pretty low budget. That doesn't have to be a problem. It's still fully possible to pull off a nice horror movie with minimal tools. However, they've literally used the same table in front of a blue screen and then just changed the background to make it seem like they're sitting at different locations. Another problem with this, it's not particularly original. There's a lot here that we've seen before. Possessions, exorcisms, paranormal things getting caught on tape, and a series of mysterious suicides. Frankly, I don't always mind this. There are plenty of good J-horror out there that has taken clear inspiration from previous successes. And that's because they either did it better than the original, or brought something new to the table. I guess the issue with Dead Waves is that everything is so poorly executed and messy that these elements become a bleaker copy of what's already been done. In conclusion, I don't recommend Dead Waves. Thank you for watching.